Mulher from Modern Salon TV. We are behind the scenes at Carmen Mark Volvo, the fall winter 2017 collection, and I am here with Ted Gibson, one of my fave people in the world. And and you know what I love? <laughs> that we're doing a ponytail. Yes. And it's a great one. <laughs> it's a ponytail so with well. a story, so we're really excited. So, so tell much. us all about it. Well, you know, I love working with Carmen. I can't even tell you how many times I've been able to have the pleasure um, of collaborating with him because his collaborations and his idea of what his girl is, I try to get it every single time and I think that I've gotten it this time again. He had this whole idea of this 70s girl, right? He said he brought up Stevie Nicks and for me, if you think about the 70s, there's so many iconic images. Oh, I'm sorry, 70s. I have to interrupt you. Stevie Nicks, that's my, uh, I'm, I hear that I am the doppelbanger. <laughs> For, moon, for Stevie Nicks. Nicks. That's my next career. I'm going to do uh, I don't blame you. an impersonation of her. So I'm sorry, go ahead. Stevie Nicks is super hot. <laughs> as, well, as Maggie well, wait, Mar not too. that part. <laughs> so he had all this idea about 70s, and if you think about the 70s, there's so many iconic images throughout that, from early 70s straight poker hair to Diana Ross, Afros to, you know, Pam Greer to Farrah Fawcett, you know, disco, Donna Summer, there were so many different kind of things within 70s. So what I want to do is bring all those little elements together and create this really beautiful 70s romantic girl. And that's what we did, especially on my Charlotte. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's turn her around and tell us all about it. Let's see. Well, you know, what we did first is we did a really great blowout. We used a volumizing spray and then a mousse throughout and blew her, gave her a really salon, really salon quality blowout. And then we used a one and a half inch iron on the, the entire head. But what we did was to create so that it would have a different kind of feel rather than just a beach wave because they didn't want a beach wave. So what we did is we took the iron, we wrapped the hair around the iron halfway, and then we took the, the hair and wrapped it the opposite direction within that. So that one section of hair has two completely different opposing waves to it. And then after that, we pulled everything back into a low chignon because a low ponytail is gonna give you more of a sophistication than it would be if it was higher. Higher is more schoolgirl, lower is a little bit more sophisticated. And then we roughed up the ponytail from there and pulled everything back, as you can see. You did a nice job on the color. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Thank God, right, Charlotte? And this is a, a center part? Yes, center part, definite center part. But you can see the texture that's happening. It's pulled over the ears, but there's still some softness around the face, which I think is really kind of romantic and really beautiful at the same time. That's the prettiest pony ever. That is so yeah. nice. And, and really, your color's great. You look great. You're fabulous. Thank um, you, Ted, thank you so much. Have a great thank you, season. Thank, thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Maggie.